debate about fish welfare have been going on for decades and will no doubt be around even after I'm long gone. But a recent study has proven something rather interesting. The researchers asked themselves, do fish have an awareness of internal and external stimuli, aka self-awareness, which I ask myself every single day. Anyway, the test this theory, they use giant mantas, which have the largest brain of all fish species. That's your interesting fact of the day. Uh, using mirrors on marine life isn't new. Uh, they used them on dolphins back in the 70s just to see if they could recognize themselves, uh, but they're not fish, as you know. Uh, so far, no fish species has ever passed the mirror test. Sadly, the manta rays also didn't recognize themselves, but they showed highly repetitive behavior in front of the mirrors, uh, like fin movements and exposing their underside and several other unusual behaviors. So what does this all mean? Well, it's another step towards proving that fish really can feel pain, have emotions, and potentially could be self-aware. This could also add sanctions and restrictions to species of fish being hunted for either food or medicine. So the more research is done, in this field, the better chance we can improve fish welfare and stop certain types of fishing. So what do you think about all of this? Do fish feel pain and are they self-aware? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so comment below. If you're watching this video on Twitter, why not give it a like and a retweet? And to our awesome YouTube family, don't forget to like, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and safe diving.